Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one. This is the week of June 19th, the day the iPhone 3GS launches in the United States. This week I've dubbed iPhone week because I'll have continuing coverage of the iPhone including apps and accessories at the beginning of the week and then as we get to the Friday, June 19th, I'll have iPhone 3GS coverage. Pretty extensive coverage, I, I have to say. So this review is sim is made by the same people. This app that I'm reviewing today is made by the same people that made Text Free Unlimited that we reviewed yesterday. Pick Free, which d again costs $5.99, allows you to send a MMS messages from your iPhone 3G. And this is good because in the United States at least, first of all, tethering was not announced and MMS was announced for summer, which is unacceptable in my opinion. And so if you want to send MMS messages, this is your only choice. It's $5.99 and you can't actually receive MMS messages, which is a little bit of a bummer. But I'll explain how all that works. So now you can just take the image you want. It's a little bit hard to click because as you can see, this pinger, ping it, ping, pick free bar actually blocks the button. So we'll just choose from our camera roll here and we will go in and choose this bird. And that'll load in with second. And you can see the picture here. We're just going to type a message. Enjoy the pick. And I'm just going to move it away when I go fill in the to field. Just to protect the people, I suppose, in my contact list. So when you send it to actually a person, you can send it or you can do send as text with link to picture we'll press info on that if you're sending a person if you're sending to a person who can't receive an MMS such as an iPhone check this box to send them as a text with a link to the picture instead so I'm gonna do that just to show you how it would work if you sent to an iPhone because obviously it won't work but in your two field besides sending to cell phones you can send it to email addresses as well in case you were wondering with that and again it'll just give you a little pre-formatted message with a link to your image so I'm just gonna press enjoy the pic we're gonna go ahead and send that off and if you give it a second uh, the SMS client I believe will pick it up yep so we're gonna press reply because I want to check it out so it's similar to text free from Michael Sherlock so you could type in any name you wanted and then your message enjoy the pic if this was a supported device you could actually see the picture so once AT&T gets their act together with MMS you'll be able to see the picture here so we'll just press the link and it'll open up our browser should open up a new tab sent with pic free for iPhone and iPod touch because this does work with iPod touch And for some reason, the picture didn't load, but it did open up a link to... Okay, so the picture is not working at the, at the time of this test. So, obviously, it's not perfect. This is just a version, I believe it's their first release that I'm testing out right now. But if we go in, if I show you settings, just so you can see, your name, which I mentioned before, an email address. So... Uh, when people respond to your messages, it actually won't come back to this client, this pick-free client. It'll be an email sent back to you, so that's why it's important to have your settings filled out. I feel as though that since, because this is a $5.99 application as well as Text for Unlimited, which is a $5.99 application, I feel as though uh, Pinger should combine the apps into one, maybe for $7.99, or $5.99 I suppose would be ideal. That allows text-free with their, I, I feel better interface and it's more refined to just be able to send messages. And also you then you'd be able to receive MMS messages as well. They say it's unsupported receiving MMS messages, but since it's in this client, it's simply, it seems to me that you'd just be sending it to the server and then the app would, would grab that image. So I think it's, po I'm pretty sure it's possible. So I think Pinger sh could really sell a lot more apps. First of all, if they implemented that MMS function into this, and also if they combined the two app, the two applications into one app as basically the the op, the alternate to the standard messaging app of the iPhone, you had you know pick free and text free combined into one thing. Maybe they could do video as well or and audio, so it'd be totally you know the iPhone 3.0 that we were expecting in terms of MMS, but were crippled by AT and T, particularly in the United States. But that's a different rant. So pick free again, five ninety nine. There is no light version, a light, a free light version available, but it's cool nonetheless to have uh, for the times you want to send an MMS to somebody that can receive it. I mean, if you're gonna send it as a link to an image, 
you know, you could probably save yourself some money not by this app, you know, and just send an email with an attachment. But it's your call, pinger, pick free on the iTunes App Store. Thanks for watching, guys, and continue to check back youtube.com slash the revived one for besides many of much other content. If you're watching this the day it goes live, you know, you'll be getting that iPhone 3G. S as well as iPhone week coverage. Thanks for watching.